Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. So, Billy Joe Saunders retains his WBO title by defeating Willie Monroe Jr. Um, he beats him on a unanimous decision, ladies and gentlemen. All three judges giving the fight to Billy Joe Saunders. One judge having it 117-111. Another one 115-114. And another one 117-112. Man. But uh, they, they, they figure uh, that Billy Joe Saunders basically uh, outworked Willie Monroe Jr. And that was good enough for him to basically win this fight. But... Um, Willie Monroe Jr., man, he doesn't seem like uh, he feels the same way. He feels as though he probably they robbed him of his fight because after the fight, there was no post-fight interview by Willie Monroe Jr., at least the one I didn't see. I mean, it's like he was out of there fast, man. And, uh, you know, just, just it's, to me, I honestly, I scored the fight a draw. But if you're a fan of either fighter, you'll find reasons or excuses for why you say your guy won. And um, but honestly, I thought it was a draw, man. I had Billy Joe Sanders up going in um, after the 10th round by actually two rounds. I thought he started to actually outwork Willie Monroe Jr. a lot more in the end of the fight. But the last two rounds, man, I thought Billy Joe Saunders took off, man, or he, he started to become too tired. And I thought Willie Monroe Jr. took the last two, which in which I gave it a draw, man. I scored round by round in my boxing form. Um, it, it was, like I said, if you're, if you're a boxing purist and this is something that you enjoy, this was a, a good fight for you, man. This was a very, very close fight for the casual fan. They're not going to like this fight very much, man. It was very slow paced. Um, you know, according to the commentators, they felt as though Willie Monroe Jr. just did not take the fight enough to Billy Joe Saunders, man. At points where Willie Monroe Jr. was putting Billy Joe Saunders on the back foot, he was having a lot of success. And I honestly wanted him to turn it up a notch as well, man. Sitting there waiting uh, each and every time for Billy Joe Saunders to come on in. But, hey, that's how Willie Monroe Jr. fights, man. This is not nothing that he started to do for this fight or anything different. This is how he's always fought. It's the same man he fought Golovkin in. Um, this is the same man uh, he fought Gabriel Rosado in and a lot of his previous fights. So, this is just who the guy is. He sits there and wait. He sets traps and he tries to pepper you coming in, man. This is this is exactly what Willie Monroe Jr. Uh, always does. Now, my prediction for this fight was Billy Joe Saunders would win it, and basically in the fashion that he pretty much did. I thought he would either outwork uh, Billy. Uh, um, uh, Willie Monroe and also I thought he would command more respect uh, from Willie Monroe which I thought he did as well man but he was very inaccurate in this fight um, the one good thing you can take away from Billy Joe he looked in much much better shape he, he looked like he could have went much longer into the fight oh, well he, he was tired by the end of the fight but he got much longer into the fight than we're normally seeing before he started to get tired um, he looked good man as far as his fitness level I thought he looked real good tonight heads off to Dominique Engel uh, for getting him in tip top condition man but uh, you know close fight man like i said if you're a fan of either fighter you will find reasons why your guy won i personally scored this thing a draw man now after this um according to billy joe saunders he wants the winner of the canelo and triple g fights um according to frank warren a promoter of billy joe saunders he's down to make that fight so it looks like that's the one he has his eyes on like i said before uh him and uh, uh gennady golovkin came close to making a fight prior to golovkin taking the canelo fight so hopefully uh you know billy joe saunders basically picks up the pieces uh where they left off with that particular situation, whether it be Canelo or Gennady Golovkin. And, um, you know, you know, well, we don't want to see no bullshit. Like we've seen bullshit in the past from Billy Joe Saunders. We don't want to see none of that, man. This dude, when he comes in in good condition, man, he's a very, very good fighter, man. Anyone who's going to bring the fight to Billy Joe Saunders, he's going to give him a hell of a run for their money. And seeing him mix it up with Golovkin or a Canelo will be very, very interesting, man. Real talk. But uh, uh, Billy Joe Saunders tonight, man, I mean, inaccuracies all the shit though i thought he did get out boxed in a lot of portions of this fight tonight um i thought he was very inaccurate and i thought he it took a minute for him to figure out willie monroe jr but it was a, still an up and down fight and i did not give it to him by nearly the margin that the judges did man so it is what it is man heads off to billy joe in his entire corner he deserved it i mean i ain't gonna say he earned this win tonight he fought his ass off the judges felt as though he deserved the win tonight um willie monroe i'm, feel, I'm sure he feels differently i feel as though this was a draw but Hey, it is what it is. So to the next video, don't forget to subscribe. Main Man Made Man. Don't forget uh, Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum, man. Onward and upward, man. About to sit back and prepare for the Canelo Triple G event. Tune in right back here, man, for a post-fight video. We're going to break this down, everything that happened. All right, to the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.